Well, you guys got another video here for you on how to download and install Office 2024 from Microsoft without signing into a Microsoft account. I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. So sit back and I'll show you how to do it. So first off, I'm going to go to this PC here into my C drive and I'm going to create a folder inside here. We're going to call this Office. You don't have to put it in your C root directory. It's just an old habit, and this is where I generally put stuff when I want to download stuff here. So I'm going to put it into here called Office. Next, we need to download the Office deployment tool. This is where it's going to allow us to download and deploy Office and also configure Office to our liking. So first off, I'm going to download this tool right here, and here is the information right here. You can take some time to read about that. You can also read the links in the video description, which I will be putting up there for you. Go to the download section. You can run it from here, but I'm just going to cut and paste it into uh, that location so it just makes it more clear for you guys. So let's go ahead and put it into this Office folder here. You only need to click on it and download a few files, and you're pretty much done with this. So let's go ahead and double-click on this one here, and we will then click Yes to the user account control, and this will open up your terms conditions you need to check here to accept those and click continue from here once we click continue it's going to continue to download the files we need we need to specify a folder so i'm going to go ahead and click on this pc and choose that office folder that we just created earlier click ok and now the files have been downloaded so let's click ok here and go to our office directory we can delete the deployment tool now we don't need that and here we can see some config files and we can also see a setup file. So let's go ahead and set up these configuration files here. So what you need to do here is you can delete the ones that you don't need. Let me just make these a bit bigger for you. That's probably a bit too big. Let's go back and make this large. There we go. So we've got um, Office 365. We also have the other ones here uh, for you to choose from, Enterprise and so on. So we're going to leave this one right here, uh, the configuration Office 2021 Enterprise, but it is going to download 2024. So what we need to do now is configure this configuration file. So first, let me rename it just to call it configuration so it doesn't confuse things. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave configuration here. And this will be an XML file. So to see the extensions, you can go to the three dots, go Options, and we can then go to view and then we can show hidden files, folders and drives and remove the hide extensions. And now we can see it's an XML file. It's called configuration and we have our setup.exe file right there as well. So what do we do from here? We need to go to Microsoft's website here and have all the information about how you can use this to download uh, office off of their servers so let's come all the way down here you can see there's some commands here uh, there's an example configuration.xml file we'll copy this and we'll use their uh, configuration uh, xml file here and we can customize this to our own liking so let's go ahead and go back to our actual folder and open up the configuration.xml file right click on it and we can now go edit in notepad this will open it up in notepad and right here you'll see a bunch of text inside here and you can basically highlight all of this push delete and we're going to right click and paste inside here because that's all we really need now you're going to see a bunch of hash keys here and this because we don't have the key inside here for auto activation and if you did want to do that you would need to put in the auto activation key inside here and it will automatically update and activate your version of office so this is where you would put your key now there's three different versions here the pro plus 2024 volume the pro, uh, visio pro 2024 volume and also project pro 2024 volume as well so here we have the actual code. If we come down here, you will see some actual official LTSE 2024 commercial preview. So I'm going to copy this just so we can get this installed on the system. This is not going to activate it. This is just basically using a preview activation so you can look at it. 
So what I'm going to do here is select the version that I want here. And it's this top one here, which is the Pro Plus 2024 volume. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this one right here. So you should see some hashes here. So we're going to paste that in. Now, I've actually blurred this out, even though it's a generic key. And the reason for that is because YouTube's algorithm can think that's piracy. And of course, it will flag the video and I don't need all the drama. So I'm going to blur it out. But it is just the generic key. I'm going to delete these versions here that I don't need. For instance, Project Pro 2024 volume and also this one here, the Vizio Pro 2024 volume. If you want to use those, you can use the appropriate keys or your own keys if you have them and edit them. So we're going to delete those because we're not using them. We can click File and click Save, and that's now done. So now we've got that done, what we can do here is you can change the uh, language ID here, but I'm going to leave this as US English. And now we need to go up the top, highlight the search area here, type CMD, and this one open up a command prompt window right into that directory. From here, we need to now paste in the command which is on Microsoft's website. So let me go back and show you the actual command. It's this one right here. This is to configure and download and install uh, the Office from Microsoft servers. So let's go ahead and click uh, copy and go back to our command prompt. And we can now uh, right click and paste, or we can push control V and this will then paste in our command. If I type DIR, you'll see that we're in the right directory. This is where all them files are, which is what we just uh, configured. So now we're gonna paste this in and push enter. Say yes to the user account control and we can continue. You will see a Microsoft window popping up, and this is now gonna download those files off of the server and install them onto the computer for us. It's that quick and that simple. We don't need to sign into a Microsoft account to do this. Again, it's not gonna be activated because we are using that generic key, but if you had your own key, you could put it in there and it would activate when it's uh, installed. But we'll just let this go ahead and download and install on the system. I'll also show you how you can actually download the files and keep those files so you don't have to go through this process again if you ever wanted to reinstall it. And I'll show you how to do that after we've downloaded and installed this onto this computer here. So that is nearly done. And we should then see you're all set. There we go. We can now click on close. And what you can do now is close this window and you've just installed Microsoft Office 2024 onto that computer. If we go back into our command prompt and type in that same command, but then use your cursor arrow keys to change config to download, this will download all of the required files. So if you want to keep those files, this is how you can quickly download. So let me go ahead and push enter here and this will also download the files. We've already installed them, but if you want to download them, you'll see it just hangs there for a little while. It is downloading, and I can show you that by looking at the network graph in Task Manager here. So let me quickly show you here. Inside Task Manager, if we open up that and click on the network section, you'll see that the files are being downloaded right here. There we go, it's using my internet, and it's now downloading those. Okay, so now we've got that downloading. Once that's done, it will put it into that same Office folder and there it is right there. These are all the necessary files that you would use to install Office again if you needed to install it. You don't have to go through this process again because you have all the files. So now we have that done, we can now close off this window. We don't need to use the command prompt window anymore. So let's close that off. And what we can do here is I'm gonna open up Word here and you will see that it is not activated because that is because we are using a generic key code, which is just a preview key, which allows you to install the actual uh, office onto the system here. So I'm just going to go through here. Now there is people that claim that this is actually activating office for free online, but it's not. It's just basically giving you a preview of office. And you can see we're not signed in here, but we do have it installed. But if you do want to activate and use it, you can either sign in and use your own details if you want to sign in and sync all your stuff 
to Microsoft. If you don't want to do that and you want to activate it, you can hit the file and then go to account. And you can see it, this version is the Microsoft Office LTSC Professional Plus 2024 preview version. To make this a full version, you would need to change the key and use the legit Office key to be able to activate this version of Office. You can also do this via Microsoft's account, and you can also do this by that config file that we configured earlier by putting in your proper key that you have. If you do have a key, you can change key, paste it in, and activate it like this with an official proper Office key, and this will then activate that version of Office as you just see me do right here. That would be a legitimate key that you're using, not one of those generic keys, because it just will not activate uh, with a generic key. So once you've got this activating and working on the system, you can then use the product, and there's plenty of things like Outlook. There's also other things like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, you know, and you can use all of these. You can keep it updated by going into your account and clicking on this area right here, and this will update the latest version right here. By clicking on here, it will check for updates and update that actual account. You will need to restart your system as well to make sure everything is working okay. Again, once you've got it done, it's yours to use. And you want to make sure you sync this to your account as well at Microsoft. If you're logging in with your Microsoft account, it will all your details and stuff will be synced to Microsoft. Anyway, that is one way of downloading and installing Office 2024 onto a Windows system whether it be windows 10 or windows 11 you can use this method uh, there's other ways of doing it as well and i'll show you how to do those if you want to see them my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members who join my youtube members group i really do appreciate the support and i shall catch you in the very next video bye for now